Hello guys, here's Tom from Mixpedia Tom and today we're going to tie uh, Olive Dunn with a mallard wings and the hand striped peacock quill body. This here are the quills, Olive one, the mallard flanks and I use a size 14 hands hook for dry flies. First we're going to start with the thread. The axis. Jump a little bit further. Now we'll be here about one third, two third, three third of the hook shank to the first third. We'll tie in the wings, which will be of mallard feather. I prepared it already here, like this. And the wings should be about the length of the hook shank. Then we cut the excess, tie it down, then we jump in front of the wings. So that they stand upright, like this. We need to split them in half. And now we put the thread in between once and the second time. Now the most difficult part of this pattern is to make some wraps around the wings. them together once if it is the, if the thread isn't working as you want it try to turn the bobbin around a few times so this will help a lot at the moment it's quite okay. So after having separated these, I'll put some UV glue in between, just a little drop. So we'll secure it a little bit more. And we go back here. And we'll use for the tail, I love to make them with a coctelion. So about the length of the hook shank. This, grab it, tie it in straight after the drop. And then make sure you pull them a little bit uh, up. So they will sit on the hook shank and won't go to the side. Get the axis here. Then we'll take the peacock quill. Here you have to have a look which side looks better. And the better side must be down when you tie it in so it will be seen when you turn them around.
if you haven't have a good body shape now you can change it but at the moment I'm actually quite happy with it so you'll turn it take it down and you begin to wrap it You can use hackle pliers, but actually I prefer to turn them around by my finger. I have the better feeling for how much I'm pulling. Stop it. one in front then you can cut this one more wrap the bar on it the next step we'll get the hackle I like to use ginger for this pattern but can use grizzly or whatever you have in your box. Cut the first few fibers so that you have some barbs which hold the heckle better in place. Jump in front, then we'll cut it. of the hook with the thread, pull a little bit to the front with the hackle, then you see if some fiber is looking already back, you can cut those. Then you can begin to, oh I just forgot to put some UV resin on the back here. bit more durable then we'll begin to wrap it around once Time back, jump in front, take the wings back, close to the stem of the wings. We'll secure them with thread. Cut the end. Another wrap around it. Then we'll make a whip finish knot. So and here we have an olive done which represents a uh, scambus mayfly which is here in Switzerland seen often during the grading season and it's a very good fly.